What's up, everybody? What's up? This is Afro Joe here with my homegirl, Sadistic. Like you yo. See, there she go. Say it again. Yo, yo. See? But uh, you might be seeing this woman on the screen, but it's like this. I'm going to start off like this. Like, I know half of y'all yeah. seen, seen my videos, and I'm always saying I hate drama. I hate motherfuckers. I hate when grown-ups play these kids games. Now, this bitch is the nastiest, most disgusting, most uh, 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 <laughs> woman on earth. I'm talking about this woman here, Okogui, and she's dating Okogui. She got, th you know what, I feel bad for her kids, though. That's the main part. I feel, what, what you got to say on this? Well, you know, I don't She's a shitty person and mother, from what I have been told. Um, you know, D DHHR, aka Child Protective Services, have been on her ass since, like, you know, from day one, since, like, the first kid was born. In my view, she has four kids by four different guys. This is according to my ex-husband. Um, she is a drug addict. She's got MRSA which is like AIDS, and her youngest daughter has MRSA, and she's not properly taking care of her daughter, so they can charge back on their ass, well, her ass. Um, she has no teeth. She wears false teeth to give her own abuse. Um, she's got these nasty-looking tattoos all over her, and she thinks she's some, like, outlaw chick or whatever. Um, she's a shit starter. She hates me for no particular reason. I have not done anything to her. Until now, because, you know, she's running her fucking mouth about me to people that don't fucking know me. And that's going to make it hard on me to find a fucking job. She apparently knows over 700 people, according to her Facebook. But, um, yeah, she's really fucking nasty. Um... From what I heard, she uh, doesn't hardly bathe. Um, she throws like clothes and shit all over the floor. She's ruined my house. Well, it's not my house anymore, but her and her nasty little age infected kids have ruined that house. And she just, you know, I was working at a fast food joint a couple months ago and Apparently, uh, I guess my douchebag of a ex-husband told her where I worked, and apparently they knew some of that, um, in the crew trainer where I worked, and that started a whole bunch of shit, unnecessary shit that was not in his business in the first place. So, yeah, she doesn't deserve to breathe human air or have any sort of human life. She is fucking... Gum. Yeah, man. This, I'm saying, man. This is why I call her the Google. Now, one thing about this, like Sadistic said, she, Sadistic never mess with this girl, never talk shit about this girl. But this one, yeah. see. But the one thing about this girl is she started stuff with Sadistic. Now, why would you? Cause she's jealous. See, there you go. Now, this is the question. For that reason. See? Because one thing is, I look at it it's like this. It's like, like, why would you start fucking with somebody that did nothing to you? They didn't call you a bitch, whore, slut, nothing. Didn't cause no problems with you. There's no B. But you, but she's fucking around with her ex-husband, which there is a picture of. Now, this man... You see this ball hit the Goku and he like jump out the hut. Oh, chocolate num num but chop chop. Oh, Luke Skywalker Jedi. I'm like the one to go. <laughs> but he's ugly. Now this man is in What's like. The fuck was I th there you go. Now you see this man. You might see little blurred out spots. Well, we trying to cover up the kid's identity because we don't want to trying to hurt the kids and this. It's not their fault that uh, 
my ex husband and her a bunch of fucking low life pieces of shit. Yeah, so we're not trying to blame. They didn't ask to be born. Yeah, so we're not trying to blame the kids for shit, but the fucked up thing about it is this man doesn't give a shit about his own kids. This is the kids that the, the little spots, like I said, little spots with the white out. Is the is those the ki- are kids. those are the nasty bitches kids, not sadistic, but sadistic had a son. Her, do. Yeah, she's got a son, and this dude, it it, it kind of throws it kind of throws me off because I sit up here and I watch this, because uh, I sit here and I look at it. To me, it's a bunch of bullshit because he's taking care of three kids. What? What is it? Three or four? Um, she has four, but the oldest son is uh, taken away because. For some reason, I don't know why, but she has custody of the three girls. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but, uh, he's taking care of her kids, but he won't take care of his own son, like. He didn't when we were married. Yeah, see, look, like, why would you take care of somebody else's kids if you're not going to take care of your own kids? If he only says he does around her, so he's all fucking looking good. Yeah, so. And one thing about this dude is, like, he is such an abusive motherfucker. He thinks he's Mr. High Almighty, but he looks like a Kakui of Jabba the Hood. He loves to fucking lie. Like, oh my god. I have caught him so many fucking lies the past year. It is so fucking funny. Like, um. He was wanting to get back together with me a couple months ago, so he threw her out because he thought that me and him were going to get back together. And he ran his fucking mouth to the ancient jar saying that me and him were getting back together and I was moving back in the house. And what he don't know is whenever he tells them people, it gets back to my mom and it gets back to me. And then I call him. Called him and I'm like, you ran your fucking mouth, didn't you? And he's like, no, I didn't. It was probably true. Certain shit, blah, blah, blah. And apparently, uh, he moved her back in like a few weeks later and was lying to me saying that he was never going to get back together with her because she was nasty. And, um, apparently, she, he told her that he threw her, Lord's wife threw her out with, so he was looked better in court. That is not fucking true. He is lying so fucking much. Nice. Like, um, we had a, uh, we had a, uh, emergency meeting. Like, that's what you do when you're involved with the HHR. Yeah. And the woman brought up that, uh, she's concerned because of Dennis, uh, called Andrew, um, a retard and told him to get the fuck out of the way and pushed him with, um, grocery bags, which is true, and you know what the motherfucker does? He sits there and denies the whole fucking allegation, and he knows it's fucking true. Yeah, see. And I, and, and I, was, and I asked him about it when we were talking again, and he's like, oh, I was just, um, what is that fucking word? He was, basically, he was shocked that it, that it came up, and I'm thinking, well, you told me to jar that I did a bunch of shit that I didn't fucking do, like kick Andrew and call him names and stuff. No, see. And yet, you know, you fucking, you're not gonna own up the shit you did, you know, because he's a fucking asshole. Yeah, and I, I say this too, you never put pussy before your child, man. Does it? I don't give a fuck if you divorce. His reason is, his reason is he don't like being alone. Dude, you were alone before you fucking met me. Yeah, but it's, but it's like this. But it's like this, though. He divorced my homegirl sadistic and put her through all this shit. Then he gets with a woman that's affected with some kind of disease like AIDS. And one of her kids is infected. It's MRSA. He died from it. MRSA. Antibiotics won't even work. MRSA. Okay, MRSA. Look that up. But, uh, but he leaves his ex, he leaves his wife becoming her, his ex-wife, 
for a woman with MRSA, a disease that can be transported through sex or bodily fluids. And he treats her kids like gold, but he won't treat his kid, but he'll treat his kid like shit. Now, why would you treat your kid like shit, but treat somebody else's kids like gold? To me, it's a bunch of bullshit. I don't think it's right for him to do it. And why would you? Oh, and, it's completely, it's completely fucked up. Yeah, it is. And like, Major Charm practically had to force him to go around the fucking corner to, in the neighborhood to have um, scheduled visitation with our son because he went get off his fat ass to go fucking see him. Yeah. I mean, you can walk to the um, woman's house that watches me and uh, what's whatever, that watches my son uh, after he's out of school. Yeah. He wouldn't do that. See. He won't do anything. And he thinks buying him presents is going to make up for being a shitty dad. No, it's not. No. My two half-sisters, well, I don't really, I, think, I consider them a full sister, but they're really my half-sisters. Their dad is full that shit. And you know what? They consider my dad their real dad because their real dad's a piece of fucking shit. Yeah, see, yeah. I I told I, I told my I told sadistic one day that this that shit he's putting on his son will affect him. So her yeah. son is gonna grow up hating his dad because he pulled shit on him. And it ain't gonna be my son either. Yeah, he can sit the. Her ex-husband can say, well, well, it's your fault that your son hates me. No, it's your fault that your son hates you. It's not your ex-wife's fault. Your wife, ex-wife didn't get in his ear tell him, oh, just hate your daddy. No, it's the stuff that you pulled on your son to make him hate you. And me, having my son taken from me. Yeah, see, it, to me... Just so he wouldn't have to fucking uh, financially... Be a, uh, me and Andrew wouldn't be a financial burden to him and he, so he wouldn't have to pay child support. And guess what? The motherfucker has to pay child support. Yeah, I see. Because those little plans backfired. And I know he was fucking around on me before he threw me out. That's all he was like threw me out because he was screwing around on me with that fucking nasty ass bitch. I'll tell you, man. Uh, like, uh, what was it? I did a video about a uh, parent. Uh, what was it? About marriages? Mm -hmm. about how uh, no I said uh, what was it murder is the new divorce it's where couples mm -hmm. like certain couples will kill each other so they won't get divorced and I'm surprised this, like one thing is uh, one thing is I'm surprised he didn't like I'm I'm glad he didn't do it but I'm surprised he didn't do it because he's a fucking pussy yeah I mean, he wasn't pushy enough to, I mean, he was, he was, uh, tough enough to beat the fuck out of me and call me names, but... He's a wife beater. And he's all, me and Trish always get along. Well, you know what, good for you. Losers need to stick together. And one thing is, he, where does he live at, up in Virginia? Yep. He lives up in Virginia. Now, if you look like if you like, well, the pictures not might not be great to see them, but if you get closer, in this picture, on the little small picture to the left in the middle, if you look at him, that's what the fuck he looks like. Where, if you ever see him around down around town in Virginia, make sure you call him up. Well. <laughs> You can do what she say, beat the fuck out of him. But to me, I, if I was you, and I go around, you got two hours, and you can beat the fuck out of him, or two, or two, you can sit up there to call him a piece of shit. You can call him a wife beater. You can call him a motherfucker. You can call him a, a child abuser. Oh, and, I get this, Wookie. Okay. You should mention how um, he used to accuse me and you of being secret lovers. Oh yeah, this guy. Remember, yeah. Get mad every time to talk on Skype. Yeah. Now this is funny. He would get mad at like it's like this. Back when I was on Now Live, 
I did this I did my show and that's how me and Sadistic met was because my show back in 07 this man used to like my show he used to love him he said oh Afro Joe's a trip because he's the Wookiee <laughs> but now before he kicked her out he used to think that me and Sadistic was fucking but she's in Virginia and I'm in Tennessee, so how in the fuck are we fucking? My dick must be very no, big. No, he thought, he thought that me, he had some internet love going yeah, on. Yeah, internet. Sure. Yeah. He thought we had internet love, which she's like my sister. Why would I want to do that? But uh, he thought. Oh, yeah. You've, you've heard him call me names shit too, haven't you? Huh? You've heard him call me names and stuff, haven't you? Haven't me. Yeah. Like, like, like I said, man, me and her are like brothers and sisters. I whenever ch fuck her over. I'll try to teach her, teach her something, but I'll never fuck her over. But, but this guy is a piece of shit. In my words, if I was in the same town as he is, I would have fucked him up. I would have fucked him up so fucking badly, man, to a point where he understand where the fuck I'm coming from. I would have beat the shit out of him so let it I would have beat the shit out of him so fucking bad that and I tell him, lay your hand on another woman. I will fuck you up even more. I will fuck you up so bad that I will paralyze you from the neck down. But I I'm, I'm not gonna go to Virginia and do it because look man, I'm not a I'm not like that. But I'm not like it. If you see him on the street, just kick his ass or call him a piece of shit, wife beater, child abuse. And the fucked up thing is, his damn grandfather's a fucking pedophile. He let his grandfather. No, I saw his, I saw his grandfather. That's his grandmother's husband. Oh, his step grandfather. His step grandfather. Yeah. yeah. His step grandfather. He's a fucking pervert, too. I was. His step grandfather is a registered pedophile, and he let his step grandfather watch his son. If you knew that, yeah, this was before. This was before everyone signed up that he's a fucking pervert. Yeah, this is before. <laughs> now you don't know. Like to me, it may it, it fucks me up because you don't want to. You don't want to think about. You don't want to think about this. You don't want to think about what he did to that child. Behind closed. I've done anything. I'll fucking kill myself. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I, and this motherfucker. He talks about, uh, man, this is a motherfucker. This is a, a piece of shit. Like I said, man, if you see him on the street, you got two options. You can beat the shit out of him and go to jail, or you can sit there and call him a wife beater, child abuser, piece of shit. I was spitting his face. I will spit in his motherfucking face. Cause he ain't even worth kicking his ass. He ain't worth kicking, ass kicking. No, just hold red to his little lawyer and whine and yeah. try to sue, like he's trying to sue my ex-father-in-law. I would love to see him come down here and try to sue me, man. I know I can pick up, a, I can pick up the phone and call one number. You can't sue cause you're not threatening him and... No, I'm not. It's freedom of speech, you know? Yeah, it is freedom of speech. He, him and his little ratty-ass girlfriend are, can go and run their fucking mouths about me, spread a bunch of fucking shit. Oh. So, you know what? Payback's a fucking bitch. Yeah, I wish he would say something. At least I'm getting paid for this. At least me and you getting paid for this shit. Well, I'm getting paid for this shit. I wish he would try to take me to court, man. You know what happened to, you know what happened to Zimmerman, right? What happened? The, no. pan the Panthers came out of the woodwork, put a damn bounty on his head. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. The pa Black Panthers. This is when he was out on bond and in hiding. The Black Panther put a bounty on his head. They said if they didn't find him, they were uh, either dead or alive. Please bring him in. Oh shit! Watch for another video. Yeah. Huh? But uh. That's, an, that's another video, but the, yeah. But the fact of the matter is, no man, no man should sit up there and do people wrong because of what he said. He was in what the Air Force. He was a mechanic in the Air Force. Military, army. Military, army, whatever. Yeah. 
I respect the people that goes overseas to fight for our country, even though that's a different story. But all he did was work on planes. All he did was work on planes. Helicopters. Helicopters, and that's it. He worked on helicopters and planes. He did not go into battle. He didn't even go fight. He Right, you're fucking there. That means yeah, but he you he. Know, I I love kids at one time, but you know, when you're next to someone's life a living hell, and screaming and throwing fit every time your old son makes a noise, and throwing shit, they call me a dumb fucking cunt for our child. Then you know, that kind of makes me not want to be with you anymore. But I'll tell you this, for a man to sit up there and call his son a retarded piece of shit, uh, that's, that's something, man, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't call my child a retarded piece of shit and try to lock my child in a room with, by using using a, a fucking house shoe. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, he fucking did that too. Yeah. He, what he did was he took my homegirl's Sadistic's house shoe, and it was kind of wrong for him to do it. He took Sadistic house shoe, pushed his son into a room, and locked the door with the house shoe. That was the same day that um, my son got taken from me. No. I don't know why he did it, the shoe thing, but yeah, I'm, I totally forgot about that thing. Yeah, see. So I'm telling you, man, shit like that. This, I, I don't see why this man is walking the streets. And now, because of him, I always see my son every other fucking week. So, you know yeah. what, Dennis? Congratulations. You got what you fucking wanted. His, his name is Dennis Miller, and he's this. Like, if he would have pulled this down here, he would have been in lockup. He would have been in lockup. He would have been in prison because he neglected a child and he was beating on his wife he would have been in lockup. I'm talking about this motherfucker would have got his ass poked out and I don't see I don't know why Virginia is protecting this man cause they're a bunch of fucking retarded yeah. bitches yeah if she told the courts right, what did you tell uh, somebody some authority about his abuse they wanted to know what um, Andrew's environment was like, and I fucking told him, I was like, look, the man knew I had mental problems, and I obviously knew that he had anger issues and mental problems because he was an Iraq, and he was suffering from uh, post, not postpartum depression, but that PTSD shit, and he'd always be like, it's your fault, and I'm like this, I'm like, uh, no. It ain't my fucking fault. See. Anyway, um. What did you ask me again? I said, did you tell an authority mm -hmm. about his abuse? I told him. She told him that, um, when we were in Georgia, that, um, he was abusing me. And I told him that, and he was like, yeah, that's your fault. He threw me on the bed and then grabbed my shoulders and screwed my fucking face while our, I think he, I think uh, Andrew's like three or four months old in the living room unattended. That's if I even breathed wrongly, he would fucking yell at me. Um, and it got really worse when we moved back to West Virginia. Um, he would push me in walls, he would threaten me with pepper spray. Um, he was threatening to take our son from me. Um, he would throw stuff at me. He poured a can of Pepsi over my head one time, and I didn't even do anything to him. We were just arguing about some stupid one, likely, and he got mad, and he poured his pop in front of. He did all this shit in front of our son. Yeah. Um, and got to the point where our son didn't want nothing to do with him because. Or he went, went nothing to do with him, and every time douchebag would start in on me, our son would like fall and cry and get scared, and I'd have to protect our son. Yeah. 
Because, you know, I was in an environment, I was in a similar environment like that, and it fucked me up, you know? Yeah, and yeah. it's bad enough that my son's going to have a really fucked up life because, you know, it's funny because, you know, I begged and begged Dennis to get their counseling with me yeah. for regular therapy, and he went, and, you know, and all this shit happened, and my son got taken from me because my mental problems, um, He's like, oh, I want to go to marriage counseling, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, seriously? After all this fucking shit, after almost a whole fucking month of me not seeing my child, me being fucking suicidal, you want to go to marriage counseling after all of that damn shit you put me through? Yeah. And Joe, you fucking know how in pain I fucking was yeah. in July of last year. Yeah. You knew how upset I was. I'm yeah. a fucking... That. Yeah, see, I sat here and I was there for sadistic when she needed. And I thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. I was there when he was putting through, putting her through this shit. I was the there. The boy was too. Yeah. And Grizzly, Grizzly. Yeah. my homeboy and Grizzly. I think you too, yeah. Well, you need to talk to him later, but uh, but I say like this, man. How can Virginia that? Authorities knew about his him abusing his wife and his kid. Let him walk the street of society. And it was just hearsay. Hearsay. His shit, his shit, my shit was hearsay. And you know, my parents saw bruises on me. I was going to try and get pictures of the bruises, but he'd keep the camera hidden. The night, uh, uh, it was like a Nikon camera. He would hide it for me, so I wouldn't be able to take yeah. pictures of my bruises. So I couldn't uh, take it to the prosecutor. See, like I said, man, it might be, look, I don't, like, around here where I'm from, if a wife say, I got abused, they investigate. No authority should be throw, uh, shrugging that shit off. Like, or uh, hearsay. No, they're investigated. They'll investigate what the woman had to say. So, he, Virginia's a fucking shitty-ass state. If they, yeah, they treated it, you know, Deja Char fucked me over only because of my mental problems. Yeah. And I do have really bad health problems, and I probably don't have any business um, raising my child alone. Not because I'll, I'll hurt him, just because I'm mentally just, I'm not stable enough to give him what he needs. I mean, I can learn. I'm not crippled by my disease. I mean, I'm half kind of crippled, but, you know... They just treated me like shit, you know, yeah. like saying that I need to do more. And I was going to therapy. I was going back to school. I was got a fucking job, and they yeah. basically lied to me. Yeah. She, oh, we're giving yeah. your son back. You're getting majority custody, and now I have big fucking custody. I have my parental rights still. Yeah, but she but did. She did everything the court says, and still got fucked over. The the only course. thing I didn't do was I didn't get my GED on time, and they knew that I have a learning disability. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck that. Look, look, man, you can get your GED when you can. You cannot bum rush an education. You cannot bum rush an education. If you bum rush an education, man, you better tell them elementary schools you better be in the fourth grade by next week. You cannot bum rush mm -hmm. somebody's education like that. That's a that's fucked up, trying to make them know shit in one day or one week. You cannot know everything in a week. It takes... Oh, and then, because, uh, like, during the whole uh, case, when the case was going on, I, I, we had, me and him had that parenting class. That's also part of the divorce. So I fucking, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say her name. This fucking cunt. In the beginning of the class, she would show up. And then she would slowly be really late or not show up at all, not even call. And then, you know, I'd get a job and she'd get fucking pissed off because um, I wouldn't be available. And it's like, you all told me part of the fucking deal to get my son back was to get a goddamn job. Now, what is it exactly y'all want me to fucking do? Stand on my head and burn peanut butter and whistle Dixieland? I mean, seriously, who would? Yeah. She did everything. Everything the court saying got fucked up, but like I said, man, this guy. Courts in uh, Petersburg are a fucking joke. Peter Petersburg, Virginia. 
Now this is some shit that how he, this man got away with child neglect and, ch and child abuse, child neglect, and uh, assault and battery on his wife. It's fucked up how he got away with it. Why ain't this man in lockup right now? The authorities should not say hearsay. The authorities should say we do an investigation and they should do the investigation. Don't sit there and say hearsay and walk away from the situation. Every time an officer or detective of the law sits there and shrugs off some shit like that, the person ends up dead. So Virginia gets... That could have been me. She so definitely could have been dead because of Virginia didn't want to... There were a few times where I thought I was going to be dead, to be honest with you. I wasn't going to tell yeah. about it, but, uh... Yeah, and he's the main reason. I mean, I was bisexual all my life. Well, not all my life, but, you know, when I got older, I never realized, yeah, like, but anyways, he has ruined me of ever being with another man again. That's why yeah. I'm a love. He drove this girl to, she, he, well, he drove this girl he into. No, he drove me into more in fucking sanity than I ever needed to be in. I yeah, was man. already half fat shit crazy, and he just made it worse. Yeah, because, hey, man, I went, like, I'm for real, man, I I respect people. Yeah, me, and, me and our son would be locked up in the house all the time. He would never take us anywhere. Yeah. Not even grocery shops. He was like, oh, your uh, Drew is too much work, blah, 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 or whatever. Anyways, what was he No, I'm going to say this. For the people who view this video, don't sit there and say it's hearsay. These are real things that happen in the world. Where a guy will sit there and abuse his family, his wife and kids. And shit, and, and the and the peep and the and the the law wouldn't work because it was shitty. These things happen, and he and men get away with that shit. Don't sit there and say, "Well, she got a grudge on this man." No, it's not a grudge. It's more of I don't have a grudge whatsoever. I, I honestly, I have wanted to do this video since the day he fucking kicked me out because I was yeah. finished. I was like, "Fuck this shit." Yeah. I of legal issues. I didn't want to talk to legal problems. Yeah, see. And, you know, I'm not bitter. I don't give a fuck if he's with some nasty bitch. Yeah. Get rid of him. I'm happy because you know what? That means he ain't fucking harassing me because every time I tried to leave him, he would fucking call the house a hundred times a day. No fucking joke. Uh, he snuck into my parents' house one night to get in above my bed while I was asleep and I happened to roll over and his fucking eyes were staring at mine. Yeah. And this mother... And he's a fucking creep. See, and he tried to friend me on Facebook. Now, y'all know, people know how I am. I could have been this He month. tried to friend you on Facebook after he threw me out because he, uh, he probably wanted you to, for you to tell me to get hold of him. Yeah. He was trying to see Which what... Which was going to happen yeah, because he was trying to see what Sadistic was doing on my page. But it's like, yeah, it. look, it's like this, man. I draw lines to certain extents. When it comes down to if I'm hearing shit and I see, if I'm, if I hear something and that person has the proof to back it up, then I, I'm going to go with the person that's backing their shit up. And Sadistic has the proof to back it up. And I believe what she's saying is true. I'm not going to call her you've a liar. Been, you, you've been through it with me, too. Yeah. You've heard him get mad at me and shit. Yeah. I, and I would not bash people if... I would, you know, I'm, I'm a shitty liar, okay? I can't lie to save my own fucking life. And my parents can back me up on that. Yeah. But I would not lie about abuse or anything because um, the shit that he did really fucking happened and... You know, the reason why I never left him before was because he was threatening to ruin my mom and dad's reputation or get, get them fired from their jobs. You yeah. know what? I'm thinking, I don't want them to get fired because of me. That's yeah. why I always went back. And I shouldn't have went back and cried. I probably did deserve what I got. And, uh, and I went back. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. But I, I went through the stuff with Sadistic and when she was living with this guy uh, before she got kicked out I've heard this dude call her a cunt 
bitch and call her a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. I even hear heard him talk bad about his son where he ain't nothing but a faggot. He always called his son a faggot. The boy is what, one, two, three years old? He's just a kid, man. He's just a toddler. Well, he's four now. But... He's four. He's he, he's a toddler. Now, a toddler's going to be clingy to their mothers. Mm -hmm. Or their fathers. So, you can't call your child a faggot because faggot... The child doesn't... A kid like it don't know what the word faggot means. But to call your child a faggot and treat them like shit and do all this harm to them tripping them, pushing them over, kick them in the head or all this and that. Treating them like shit, but you treat a strange woman and her three kids like gold. Like gold. How you treat your son like shit, but you treat a complete stranger's kids like gold. That is a question I don't want to... That's, that's something that needs to be answered. Why would you treat your son like shit and call him faggots and trip him and lock him in the bedroom and beat the shit out of his mother but you treat a complete stranger, this bitch, like gold. And she's got a disease that's... Like, one thing is, I'm not, I'm not downing people who got this disease. I feel sorry for them. But she... But it's like is. She's doing dirty because she's want to use her disorder, her disease as a crutch. I always say, if you're going to use your disease as a crutch, man, oh, I got this disease, I can do anything I want. When you do shit like that, man, it makes me dis disrespect you. Because you cannot, you as not a human, if you're going to sit up there and treat your damn disease like a, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm a dog gas out, man. So, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if you what's her name, Tris uh, Hip Hop Hootie in a booty. To me, to me, this girl Trish and this guy named Dennis Miller, not the comedian, they are digging a booty ass. They are. Oh, if y'all see these people up in what Petersburg, Virginia. West Virginia. Petersburg, West Virginia. Call him a dick in the booty ass. Just call him a dick in the booty ass. You go, Afro say you a dick in the booty ass. If he says Afro Joe, motherfucker, I called you a dick in the booty ass for a reason. You you like to beat on women and, and treat your son like shit. I dare you raise up on me, man. I knock you down. I'm gonna tell you, cause they go good, man. I ain't laid a hand on you. Oh, you talk shit in the video. Hey, man, they do it every day in the in the news. He does it to me too. Yeah, he does. I just don't get out of the house much to notice it, but I'm sure him and her run their fucking yeah. track and got me. It looks surprise me. They did it before with that dude uh, from uh, McDonald's. Yeah, like we say down here, flapping his uh, flapping his gums. That's what we say. He was going around town. Hey, fla she's flapping her gums because she ain't got no fucking teeth. <laughs> she ain't got no teeth. No, the loca, no teeth, the cuckoo.
She is the ugliest bitch I ever seen. But she got pretty eyes. Though. I can say she got pretty eyes. I get props because she got pretty eyes. But this bitch is ugly. I wouldn't even fuck her, man, if she was the last bitch on her. She's got merch, so I hope he wouldn't want to fuck her. I wouldn't want to fuck her. God damn, even, I say like this, Flavor Flavor wouldn't even tap that. I know that nigga got standards, but damn, Flavor Flavor wouldn't even hit that. <laughs> Tom Sizemore wouldn't even play him. Uh, yeah. Shit, man. He didn't, he, even Dennis Rodman wouldn't even tap that, man. He's like, fuck that, man, fuck that. Steve. I said Rodney King, but I just realized he's dead. <laughs> I said Rodney, no, I, I, damn. Dennis Rodman. Yeah, See? Yeah. yeah, I almost said Rodney King, but I was like, shit, he's dead, never mind. Oh, uh, yeah, Rodney, shit. That's why he probably died, because he wouldn't want to look at this bitch. Not to crack <laughs> jokes, man. Not to, not to rest in peace, Rodney King, but damn. He probably like, damn, man, this bitch is ugly, man. I better kill myself now before anything else happen. <laughs> man. Oh, my God. I'm, Seriously, how the fuck do you know over 700 people on Facebook? I don't even know that many fucking people. Yeah, I know 1,000. Do people just... Well, I mean, that's different, because, you know, you're Afro Joe. You're somebody. This bitch ain't a nobody, but a fucking hoe. Man, I... You know... Even porn stars got more fucking friends than this, this bitch does. Oh, because they're stars. She's on. She's nothing. She's a waste of life. Look, even Bishop Don Magic One has more friends than her, and he's the biggest pimp around. Well, Bill he, Clinton would even let her suck his dick. Yeah. Well, he. Well, well nasty his ass no, is now. Bill yeah. Clinton. Even Ryan, oh. even Ryan Jeremy wouldn't even tap that ass, and he's the nastiest <laughs> motherfucker in him porn. He like, you know what? I retire from porn. This bitch, is, this bitch will make him retire from porn. If they, <laughs> man, if she did a porn movie, nobody wouldn't even hit that. They would just call ugly fucks ugly. In Spanish, cocoy for cocoy, oh. like there you go, cocoy for cocoy, that's it. Uh, I can't even think about her have fucking uh, uh. Hey, have fun, have fun with that tiny little dick. Yeah, he, from what I heard, from what I've heard from Sadistic Man, that he's so tiny, man, even the blue pill wouldn't even get it up. You know what the blue pill is? The Viagra, the Viagra. So obsessed with anal. He used to always want to fuck me in the ass. I'm just like, to me, seriously? look, man, I'm a, like, look, man, there's only two holes my shit's gonna go in. And that's a woman's mouth and a who nanny. Right. I didn't want to suck a stick. I mean, it, it was that nasty. Man, I can't do certain, man, or uncertain. Honey, let me, let, me, let, me, let me ask you. Did you have to use a magnifying glass and tweezers to find this shit? <laughs> Almost. I'm almost. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a magnifying glass. Put that Sherlock Holmes on this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought my name, man, that oh lucky. I, I like, man. I mean, he is so pathetic. His own dad doesn't even fucking like him no more or believe anything that comes out of his fucking mouth. That's how much he lies. Man, I dare for, I dare for him just come out the woodwork and just start trying to talk to my ass. Oh, Mary's a motherfucking liar. Motherfucker, I heard about your abusive ass. You know what? I wish she was in jail. I wish this motherfucker was in a penitentiary. I mean, there's a prison down here that he would not like to be in. There's a prison down here called River. Oh. The worst one in the city I am, I am in is called Riverbend. They killed like a... Yeah, you told me about that one time. Yeah, there's a... The prison down here called Riverbend is so bad. There's been several guards that's been killed and injured. People getting shanked. People don't play in prison. They don't play around here. But if he was down here, he'd be sitting up in a corner somewhere, wearing makeup, shaking, and she's like, "No more." But like I said, man, how does this man get away from abusing his wife and kid? That is something I can't get. Then he gets sex up with the nasty ass bitch that ain't got no teeth. That's got a, a disease that can kill you. And treats her kids like gold, but treats his son like shit. 
how does that work? How does that, how does that work? To me, man, I... He won't even, he won't even go see his son now because my ex-father-in-law won't let our son go to his house because of that little girl because she's not being taken care of, her mercy's not being taken care of properly. And you know what? My father-in-law is the only one in that whole family that hasn't fucking sinned. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, like... Like I said, man, I apologize for I'm apologize for the two pictures that just got a lot of white out on it because we try not to bring this woman kids into this because the kids are not the kids are not to blame. It's just this fat piece of shit sitting up there doing his ex wife wrong by beating the shit out of her, treating his son like shit, and he gets to walk the streets, man. They, and like I said, man, if you're up in Petersburg, West Virginia, call him a dick in a booty ass, spit in his fucking face, and say he's a piece of shit. <laughs> they say the local cuckoo is a piece um, uh, For all my Latino brothers and sisters that go up there and call him a pinche cabrón, pinche punta, estupero, pinche punta, and os que cuckoo. Call him the cuckoo, like you cuckoo, the el chubacabra, you. Oh, what's the El Diablo? El Diablo. He El Diablo. El Diablo means Satan. He El Diablo. El Diablo, man. El Diablo. God wouldn't even... Man, you know what? God wouldn't even give him a blessing. God wouldn't even give this man a blessing. He can pray to God every... He don't believe in God. He don't believe in God. What do you believe in? Booty hoes. He's a devil worshiper. Well, he said he's uh, the Antichrist. Well, it, it well, he's an atheist. Well, Penn is an atheist. They don't believe in God, but they they know something's out there, but they don't believe in God. But I, this man is a piece of shit in my book. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't even. You know what? I'm glad I did this video, but sometimes I feel like, like doing this video. I was like, man, he's a piece of shit. I won't even waste my time on him. But I'm glad I did this video. This man's not worth it. Man. Cause you cannot sit up there and say, cause I know some of these bitches are gonna be saying, "Oh, what's the deal? What's the problem? She seems like she got a grudge. She seems like she's got hatred in her heart." No, it's about this motherfucker abusing his family. He put his son in the care of a fucking pedophile. He beat the shit out of his ex-wife. He calls his son a faggot, but he takes care of a woman and her three kids but he won't take care of his son he won't even visit his son but don't even like what if y'all leave a comment whatever you do do not come to this man's defense if you come to this man's defense and back him up you are a, a fucking piece of shit too you ain't you is just you as much as fucked up as this motherfucker to me if you defend this man you is just like him a fucking pedophile not pedophile, you're not a pedophile, but you just a <laughs> wife beater, piece of shit. And trust me, I have no grudge. I seriously, it was that was the best thing that ever happened was for him to kick me out, but for him to rip my son away from me was fucked up. I didn't do it. Yeah, so for that to happen. So whatever you do, don't lie and lie. Yeah, so whatever you do, don't sit up there and call her. Saying she's got a grudge or nothing, or she's trying to take back revenge. No, it just people get tired. She got tired of the bullshit. Like I said, man, there's that. There, if you look to the left and you see that picture in the middle, that small picture, that's what Dennis Miller, not the comedian, looks like. If you see him in Petersburg, West Virginia, call him a dick in the booty ass, spit in his fucking face, and say you ain't nothing but a wife beater, kid beater, you're a child neglect, whatever, child abusers, whatever, call him a motherfucker if you want to, but I'm not putting a gun to your head, that's one thing, before we get any further, man, oh, I, oh, tell him, tell him how he fucked his hand, <laughs> oh my god, okay, she brought us something, okay, I never thought, like, like I said, man, I'm from the south, man, and know how people say, southern folk ain't nothing but rednecks, uh, inbred motherfuckers, right? Uh, that's a motherfucking lie. This dude is from West Virginia. 
And that's up state, man. And we don't even include that as a southern state, but he fucked his auntie. <laughs> like for real, man. Right? Why would? You, uh, I think oh uh, did she didn't she get pregnant by him too? He got his nephew. Like what was it? No, no. According to him, all he did was take his dick and rub her. No, he nutted up. No, he got a he nutted in, so he got like a son and a cousin. Oh, this is my son slash cousin. Okay, how old is he? He's four. <laughs> True story, though. I would not make that. It's up. it's a true story. He actually rubbed his dick on his aunt's pussy, so that's nasty. He's an inbred piece of shit, man. I, I ain't never in my life, man. I heard stories that the shit like that happens, but I ain't never thought shit like that was true. But to find oh, out, yeah. but to exactly. find, but to find out that this motherfucker rubbed this shit up on his aunt makes me wonder how many relatives did he fuck? Did he fuck his cousin, his first cousin? If he got any sisters, man, I feel bad for his sister. Oh, this is my son and my nephew. <laughs> Like, oh, you nasty. I bet you got like three nephews, like three sons slash nephews, but like two daughters slash nieces, man. That is just nasty. He's a bitch and bendejo. He's a bitch and bendejo, like for real, but. Well, we're getting to the end of the point. You got anything else to say, Sadistic? Are we in this video? Um, no, not really. I. You know, I just want to get it off my chest finally. Not because like, I'm bitter or angry, because I'm not. To be honest with you, I just you know want to expose him for the monster that he really is, and this is what he gets to get. Yeah. I'm. Put me through hell. There are sons in hell. Oh, and um, you know, you run your fucking mouth about me. I'm gonna be same with you. That's how I fucking work. He knows how I am. So, so when you when you in church shut your old fucking mouth about me, I ain't gonna say no name at all. So whatever. At least I'm making fucking money off this bitch ass too. Money, 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 money. But I'm gonna say like this, man. If y'all like for real though, man, y'all gotta do something about shit like this, man, because. When you let a when you let a wife beater and a child abuser walk the streets, and you don't do nothing about it, they're getting away with two things: beating the wife and child neglect. And I don't think Virginia should let this man walk, and I think they should never shrug this shit off and act like nothing happened. I don't give a fuck if he was in the army, military, like shit. There's been stories where there was people in the Army, Military, Air Force, or Marine that actually went to jail for abusing their wife and beating on their children. So why is he any different from any other any other person? I don't give a fuck. It's not about his race. It's not about his whatever. It's about him beating on his family. And that's how it is. Don't not and like I said, if you see him, if you live in Petersburg, West Virginia, go up and say, "Dude, you was fucking wrong. You abuse your wife. You sit there and abuse your kids. Why would you fuck a nasty ass meth head? But you treat, but you would sit there and do your son wrong. Like I said, you never put pussy before your family. If you put." But if you put pussy before your family, man, then you're a piece of shit. And this dude actually put pussy before his son. That makes him a motherfucker. Well, yeah, you call him a motherfucker because he's fucking a woman that's got three kids. He's a motherfucker. Now, call him a... She looks like a man. And a cross-dresser. Yeah, yeah, she look, does look like a man. She the cuckoo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe. And sadistic. And sadistic. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Yes, I got a Tumblr now, but I forgot what's my address on this shit. But, uh, holla at me. 
tell me what you think about this topic tell me what you think about this year a man abusing his wife and kid but fucks a nasty ass meth head I got your tumbler. yeah you got my tumbler. okay what's my tumbler? okay it's um it's afro joe afro joe my tumbler. afro joe dash joe dash uh, no, it's Afro no. Joe Dad. It's no. It's Afro Joe. Oh my God. I fucked up. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. Afro Joe dash I'm spelling Tumblr on T R V L E. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, but I'm gonna put my link to my Tumblr page in there. Yeah, I, spell, yeah, I did spell Tumblr wrong. But, like I said, man, follow me. I'll tell you, just tell me what you think about that. Just tell me what you think about this topic and holler at me later. Peace, love, and soul. Keep it real, baby.